Well, when you hear the phrase fire and ice, you may think of Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, or any of the other famous characters from Game of Thrones. But here in Texas, the annual Fire and Ice Feast inspires thousands of Texans to open up their wallets for a good cause. Now our Dan Booth tells us how this afternoon's gathering helps local volunteer firefighters. This is the only real gumbo here. You got to come over to see me to get it. Over the past 10 years, the Fire and Ice Feast has raised just under $600,000 for local volunteer fire departments. The money helps the firefighters, but hosting a cook-off helps everyone's taste buds. There's alligator, there's, there's ham, there's brisket, there's chicken, there's jalapenos, there's pork tenderloin, just about, there's fish, there's shrimp, just about anything you can imagine. This feast has been going on for as long as some of the cooks have been alive. I just think it's pretty amazing about how he's been doing it since 2008 because that's how old I am. Well, that's whenever I was born. For some, this feast stands for more than raising money and eating good food. It's important for me because my dad was a big part of this cook-off and he passed away in June last year, so I'm, you know, still going to continue to do this. The Fire and Ice Feast is a great way for members of the community to show how much they care about first responders. I think as a community we can show them that we support them and, and what they do by, by doing this for them. Thousands of people come to the Fire and Ice Feast each year to help raise money for their local volunteer firefighters. For BigCountryHomepage.com, I'm Dan Booth. All right, thank you, Dan. Now, with the combination of beautiful weather and a great turnout, volunteers expect to surpass $600,000 in donations in just 11 years.